<laughs> it don't matter. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna move on now. Ten forty one V. What is a ten forty one V? Form ten forty one V, also known as the payment voucher for filing. Uh, form ten forty one. It goes, you know, it combinates that. It is a document used by uh, the fiduciary. Here we go again of the state and trust to submit payments for any tax owed. Any tax owed when filing IRS form 1041 and who the tax is owed to is owed to the state. The, U the U.S. income tax return to state and trust. Here is a quick breakdown of its purpose and use. Purpose. Form 1040. 1V serves as a payment voucher. It is used when a state or trust owes taxes and the fiduciary needs to make payment. To who? The state or bankers EIN. With the filing of Form 1041, the voucher helps the IRS process the payment accurately by ensuring it is properly credited to the correct the correct estate or trust. So why are we doing these for them now? Because we're trying to make, we're letting them know this is where it needs to go. Okay. We have fiduciary duties and we are the fiduciary of the state and the SSM account. We have control. We have authority. Okay. You're going to take the money from the SSN account and you're going to slide those assets over to the state, EIN, and cut a check to them. Okay. When to use. The form is used when mailing in a check or money order to pay the tax due. Check or money order. So what is the check or money order? The 1099 OID. <laughs> the 1099 OID to pay the tax due for the form 1041. Didn't I say that earlier? What was that? What was that line 14? With the check mark, the 50K? That's what it's saying right there. That is the check. The voucher is to tell them to pay. You're directing and ordering them to pay. Ordering them. I'm going to show you something in a minute. Information required, okay, uh, it is, should be included with the payment when submitting the return by mail. We're doing it by mail. Information required. The voucher includes essential information such as the name of the estate, we just talked about that. Order trust. The fiduciary's name. We 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 I showed you that. The taxpayer's identification number shows you that of the estate or trust. The amount of the payment and the tax year. No, I'm about to show that because I mean it's the same thing. I was just like the, the 1099 OID says the same thing. So I did show you that. And the tax year for each payment is being made. So there you go. Answered your question. If you can back day, it's a tax. The tax year for each for which the payment is being made. Like I say, I still stick to I stick to the one year ahead. Filing instructions after completing the form ten forty one V, it should be mailed along with the payment and with the payment. And form 1041. What is the payment, man? What is the payment? The OID? Yeah. And what did you say? You should you it didn't say it, but that's what it is. So it says you send the you complete 1041 V and you send the payment. The 10 the 1099 OID is the payment. And 1041, they left out the OID. They you should know what they're talking about. Why you think they don't put all that information there? Because they don't want you to get on. They want you to be confused. But when you find out, so 
to the appropriate IRS address provided in the form's instructions. The payment should be made payable to the United States. What? Treasury. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. 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 What? Paid to the United States Department of Treasury. Right here. Right here. Hey, Stone, you crazy. <laughs> huh? I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. So anybody say, Stone don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but he just showed us. So I Man, you crazy, Stone. So anybody just running around to you can't do that. Well, it says right here that we can. You just gotta know what you're doing. And this this day paper, this, this day doing. verbiage. Yeah, you need to go read. You just don't know what you're doing. Ty just did it. She know what she's doing. She might have made one mistake, but that's okay. She still know what she's doing. They showed it too. I'm showing her. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, it's right here. They saying it. And it's on a form saying it. So using a 1041V helps ensure the payment is processed correctly and is applied to the proper account. Which account? Which one? The state. Reducing the risk of mislocating or errors in process. This is what I, what I just say early. I say just to be simple, fill it out properly. Make sure things match. All of that is included in what this just said. So I'm just talking, I guess strong just talking. I ain't just talking. They saying it to me. Okay. Now let's go over to the 1040 V real right quick. I'm going to blow this up real quick. Now, this is the instructions up here, right? This is an instruction. Okay. Wow. What does this say right here? What does this say? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> How to prepare the payment. Make the check, the 1099 OID or money order payable to the United States Treasury. What? What? That's what it says in the own name paper. 1041B. Yeah, 1041B. It says it right here, y'all. They don't know what they're doing. The ones out here getting in trouble, they, they don't. The check. It ain't gonna tell you what check it is. It's the 1099 old ID. United States Treasury on it. Don't send cash. So we all we got this money. Uh uh paper. I mean, it's paper. Booking, book entry. It's paper. We're telling the accountants to go take this, take the take the check, the tip, which is the 1099 old ID, and go get that money. And transfer it to what? The state EIN, the state name. Uh, here's the fiduciary, which is you, the living man. Here's the state address, zip code. And guess what? We have a negative 50 here because what? We're making a withdrawal to go to the state.